Did you know that ginger contains a high level of total antioxidants, surpassed only by pomegranate and berries? That's right. Plus, it helps protect your heart, lower cholesterol, fights infections, boosts your immune system, helps you lose weight, manage arthritis, reduce menstrual symptoms, and much more. But can everyone take advantage of these ginger benefits? Unfortunately, no. For some individuals, ginger can actually be harmful. In this video, we'll talk about the potential dangers of ginger before you add it to your meals. Wondering if you might be at risk? Stick around until the end of the video. But first, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this with your friends and family. Do you use ginger regularly? How do you incorporate it into your routine? Which part of the world are you from? Leave your comment below. If you have any of these eight health problems, it's best to avoid ginger. If you fall into the last category, you should stop using ginger immediately. Let's look at the specific situations where you should think twice about using ginger. 1. People allergic to ginger. While it's quite rare, some individuals may be sensitive to ginger. Symptoms of this sensitivity could include gastrointestinal problems like heartburn, stomach aches, diarrhea, and gas. In certain instances, people may also experience skin irritation or a mild allergic reaction. To diagnose a ginger allergy, your doctor might conduct a skin prick test or a blood test to check for specific antibodies. Additionally, your doctor may suggest an elimination diet where you avoid ginger and other possible allergens for a while to see if your symptoms improve. 2. People with diabetes Diabetes is the second condition where ginger requires caution. This one is subtle because ginger actually helps control blood sugar, which sounds good. The problem is that if you're taking insulin or other diabetes medications, ginger can make your blood sugar drop too low. It's like having two different volume controls turned down at once. Either one alone might be fine, but together they can go too far. If you have diabetes, it's a good idea to discuss adding ginger to your diet with your doctor. They can help you weigh the risks and benefits and advise you on the right amount to eat or suggest avoiding ginger altogether based on your specific situation and medications. 3. Individuals Taking High Blood Pressure Medications Ginger lowers blood pressure, which, again, sounds beneficial. But if you're already taking medication for high blood pressure, adding ginger is like doubling the dose. Your blood pressure could drop dangerously low. This applies whether you're taking beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, or diuretics. A systematic review and meta-analysis of six randomized clinical trials published in April 2019 in Phytotherapy Research found that ginger supplementation positively affects blood pressure, especially in individuals aged 50 or younger. However, the authors highlighted that further research is necessary. 4. Gallbladder Disease This one is interesting because it shows how the same property can be good or bad depending on context. Ginger stimulates the gallbladder to release bile. In healthy people, this aids digestion. But if you have gallstones, that extra stimulation could cause serious pain or even dangerous complications. 5. Surgery Both before and after. Because ginger affects blood clotting, most surgeons want you to stop taking it at least a week before any operation. This includes seemingly minor procedures like dental surgery. The risk of excess bleeding isn't worth whatever benefit the ginger might provide. Sits, heart conditions. This overlaps with the blood pressure issue, but deserves its own mention. Ginger can affect heart rhythm and blood flow. If you already have heart problems, these changes could be dangerous. The safe approach is to talk to your cardiologist before using ginger regularly. 7. Pregnant Women Studies show that ginger can help reduce nausea in pregnant women, 
but it's important to limit your ginger intake during pregnancy since its anticoagulant effects may increase the risk of miscarriage. If you're dealing with morning sickness while pregnant, it's a good idea to talk to your doctor about your options, including ginger. Before we continue, I've got some exciting news to share. If you want to get more engaged, I'm excited to inform you that we now offer channel membership. As a member, you'll pay a small monthly fee and unlock some amazing perks like early access to new videos, priority replies to your comments, members-only shorts, polls, quizzes, and special emojis and loyalty badges just for you. It's a fantastic way to support the channel and connect with us even more. Just click the Join button and let's make this experience even better together. 8. Individuals with Bleeding Disorders If your blood doesn't clot normally, ginger could make this worse. It's not that ginger causes bleeding on its own, it's that it makes your blood thinner. If you already have trouble with clotting, the last thing you need is something making your blood even thinner. This is also why people taking blood thinners like warfarin need to be careful. You might think natural remedies are always safer than medications, but in this case, they can combine dangerously. The solution isn't to avoid ginger entirely unless you have one of these conditions. Even then, the issue isn't usually ginger itself, but the amount and form. A little ginger in cooking is different from concentrated ginger supplements. The problem comes when people treat natural remedies as automatically safe and take them without thinking about potential interactions. The deeper lesson here is about the nature of medical knowledge. We often think of medicines as either good or bad, but reality is more complicated. Whether something helps or hurts depends on context. Understanding these contexts, knowing when to use something and when to avoid it, is just as important as knowing its benefits. The next time someone tells you ginger is healthy, they're probably right. But remember that healthy doesn't mean always safe for everyone. The same properties that make it beneficial for most people make it risky for some. That's not a reason to fear ginger, it's a reason to understand it better. As we've seen, ginger isn't for everyone. If you fall into any of the groups we mentioned, it's really important to talk to your doctor before adding ginger to your diet. They can help you understand the risks and benefits and guide you on the best way to consume it or even recommend avoiding ginger altogether depending on your health condition. If you don't have any of these conditions, you can enjoy all the benefits that ginger has to offer. Ginger has a rich history in traditional and alternative medicine. It has been used to support digestion, alleviate nausea, and help combat the flu and the common cold, among other benefits. The distinctive scent and taste of ginger are attributed to its natural oils, with gingerol being the most significant. Gingerol has powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. On our Instagram, we have a post about how to make a soothing ginger compress for joint pain. So make sure you check that out too. Follow us on Instagram for exclusive health tips and extra content. Do you or someone you know have any of these health issues? Drop a comment and let's chat about it. If you found this video helpful, please type yes in the comments below. And before you go, check out these two videos we selected especially for you. I think you'll love them. Have a nice day and keep healthy, my friends.